I don't know why. I think it's because I'm just obsessed with iced coffee. I don't know how I keep ending up here with all three kids in the cart, but here we go again. He did really good though. This is his first time ever being at a splash pad. I know it's really loud. There's a bunch of people here and a bunch of kids here. Let me show you guys. Easy hold. So I can vlog <laughs> I keep getting the same comment and I wanted to address it. Good morning, you guys. So, we are busting out of the house today. I did not want to sit in the house all day today. I did that yesterday. I'm going to try to take the boys to a splash, little splash pad. I think it's already open. But before we do that, I do have to stop at Walmart because I want to grab a little like cheap tank top so that I don't have a farmer's hand because I am going to be trying to get some sun today. I just feel like I am pale white and I am not usually this pale white, you guys. You may not know that. Maybe if you go way back, I don't know. You'd have to go back to some pretty old videos to see me with a tan because I just kind of stopped. I don't know, getting out in the sun as much since having kids, which sounds like the exact opposite of what you should do because kids love being outside. But during the baby phase, it's a little bit harder. Anyways, we are loaded up. Bryce back here in his new car seat. Bryce, good morning. Look. Train. Okay, look a train. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just head to Walmart really quick I don't know how I keep ending up here with all three kids in the cart, but here we go again I'm having trouble finding the tank tops that I was referring to but look at these comfy shorts I don't know if that price. Yeah, that price is right. They're $5.98. They have pockets I think I need to get some of these you guys. They have a bunch of different colors Yes, yes Okay, we made it out of there alive. I tried to be super fast. I just ended up getting a black tank top, but I feel like it looks so wide. I don't, you can't really tell. I got an extra large, judge me if you will. Every time I tell people what size I buy in clothing, are like, you don't need it. You don't need a large. You don't need an extra large. Yes. Yes, I do. I have a long torso. Okay. And I'm not trying to be like fitted. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to wear this like super tight and fitted. Anyways, black tank top. I did not get the shorts. I could not find anybody near the dressing rooms. And I wasn't sure if I needed a medium or a large in the shorts. It was really hard to tell. So we'll have to come back and try some on. I got Liam. These are Liam's. Just these little like flip flop things. Someone's getting in their truck right now. So they definitely know I'm filming myself because I was holding flip flops up to no one apparently, but I got him these red ones. They were $9.98 because he doesn't have any like, he has tennis shoes, but he doesn't have any like slides or like flip flops or anything. And I got Bryce these blue ones and I know I just bought him some, which they were just like some little like, you guys saw them. They had like sharks or something on them. These look a little bit nicer. These were 9 98 as well. It's so funny because I had to get Bryce 9, 10 and Liam 11, 12. Bryce is like just a size under Liam and he can also wear a lot of Liam's clothes. Like a lot of Liam's like shorts and t-shirts now. Bryce can wear them. It is insane. But I picked these up for today. Miles has his little black and white slides that I got him recently. So now they all have like a little pair of summer shoes which by the way Bryce I could not find his other flip-flop the little shark ones so that's why I had to just go ahead and grab him another pair it's whatever I just need to make sure that I keep up with these Bryce always loses his shoes anyways I'm gonna change into this I'm gonna look super duper extra pale in this because it's black and I'm definitely definitely still pale I almost got like a yellow but I didn't okay we got black black is safe I'm also gonna grab a coffee really quick because I haven't had coffee today Okay, we have our coffee. I know a lot of you guys like whenever I show it to you and I'm the same way. I literally love seeing other people's iced coffee in their vlogs. I don't know why. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm just obsessed with iced coffee. But if you're new here, I always order an iced caramel macchiato made with oat milk. My children, as you can see, are getting upset, so we gotta go.
think Miles is over it. He did really good though. This is his first time ever being at a splash pad. I know it's really loud. There's a bunch of people here and a bunch of kids here, but I think he's over it, but Miles and Bryce, or Bryce and Liam are not, so I'm just trying to chill with him. He might have pooped. Did you poop? Are you having fun? Did you go back out there? Did you? I'm just sitting here trying to get some sun on my legs. Just sitting in the corner. Look, we got a little dry spot right here. Dry little corner. It's okay. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am super hot. Oh yes, you can. My face is shining in red. The AC's blasting. I'm sorry it's loud, but I am literally just trying to cool off. I didn't really like get in the water much, except for getting like splashed here and there. So, whoo! And after changing all the kids into dry clothes and stuff and getting them in the van, that was a workout in itself. But we're about to go and get the kids something to eat. And then I think we're gonna go to my cousin's house. My cousin actually was living like a couple hours away from here, almost three hours away from here, I think. And now she lives closer by. Still not in the same town as me, but here where the splash park is. And I haven't seen her house yet or anything. So I think we're gonna go see her while we're in town. I also need to stop by this grocery store and get my brown sugar creamer because I can't get it anywhere else so I wish I could tell you guys not to let me forget but you can't do that so hopefully I don't forget but the boys had fun that's all that matters I really think I want to have Miles's first birthday party here because it's gonna be so hot in June it's June now but you know what I'm saying I think I want to have it here we are at Arby's I got myself food from Arby's I got the boys a whole bunch of chicken nuggets and stuff from McDonald's because Liam wanted McDonald's but I usually always get a roast beef and cheddar and then I either get the fries or the mozzarella sticks but it's usually the mozzarella sticks let's be honest and I got a Dr. Pepper whenever I get fast food out I either get a sweet tea or a Dr. Pepper and I also got a water because I feel like sick slash like I'm gonna pass out but it is 1 30 and I ate like a bite or two off of the kids waffles this morning Yes, I need to be hydrated. I had a couple of bites of like the boys stuff this morning and that's it and then coffee. So I feel like trash now. I'm probably dehydrated, super hungry, too hot, all the things. So we're gonna eat this. We're just gonna eat this really quickly and then we're gonna go to my cousin's house. Okay, so we're at my cousin's house and I discovered that she has the perfect spot for vlogging. Her cam My camera is sitting here in this little like hole that's looking into her living room. And I'm jealous of her kitchen and I just want to vlog in her kitchen every day. Let me show you guys. Look at how cute it is. And here's the little hole I was talking about that looks into her living room. You can just stand there and vlog. Catch me at her house. Just put my camera in the hole so I can vlog in her <laughs> I've never heard you laugh like that. <laughs> no, I was I've never heard you laugh like that in my life. <laughs> Clothes. She has so many drawers and cabinets and none of them are childproof because she doesn't have a baby. And Miles is just having a field day right now. A field day. Here. No sir. No sir. On to the next one. On to the next one. Oh, the trash can. Yep. His favorite. No sir. Luckily, she just changed the trash bag out. <laughs> And so he can't dump it everywhere. He dumps ours everywhere all the time. Please! Okay. Jake, he's oh. backing away like he's afraid of it. Bro, you did it. You. Fix it. Okay. Oh, he's trying to pick it back up. Thank you. Hit the lid. Can we do that much? He's a genius. He is a genius. Okay. Are you serious? He's so smart. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. He's so smart. So smart. Thank you. <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to knock it back down. Is that cool? I'm a <laughs> Miles is definitely ready for a nap, but I was watching that clip back from earlier and my shoulders are burnt and so are my little cheeks. I didn't want to put some black on because I didn't want to block any sun because I'm trying to get darker, but now I'm burnt. It is what it is. We're gonna be leaving in a minute because she has to go pick up her oldest daughter and we're gonna go home. The kids had fallen asleep, but as soon as I pulled in the driveway, Bryce woke up and he woke the other kids up and I was gonna talk to you guys for a minute. So Josh came out here and he went ahead and grabbed the kids and took them in so that I could talk to you guys for a minute because I keep getting the same comment and I wanted to address it. Literally one just came through right now. It says now on it. I don't know if you can see it. And 
I just keep getting them because I posted a video, the last vlog went up today as I'm filming this. Anyways, that's besides the point. A ton of you guys have been saying that the person who hit us, that her insurance should cover everything and should cover the rental car and stuff like that. And I, I guess I've like lightly addressed this. I know that I said we were unsure if she had insurance because whenever we left the scene, the police officer told us that they had not gotten her proof of insurance yet. They were still trying to get that from her. Well, I finally called and got the police report today, which I guess is something I was supposed to do sooner. That's my bad. I have not been in a lot of accidents. I don't know these things, but I looked at the police report and it said that she was charged with two different things because she, or she got like violation or something. I don't know. For no proof of insurance and then no, like she didn't have her registration. So she like didn't have anything. So she has no insurance to cover anything. So it is going to have to be our insurance, unfortunately, which up until now we were unsure if she had any insurance, but we, were, we felt pretty sure that she didn't, but now it's been confirmed that she does not. So that is why we are having to to go through our insurance. We still don't know everything just yet. I told the guy at the body shop that he could go ahead and look into the parts that he needs for the van because he did say that sometimes there can be a part that he needs and they can't get it for like six months. And I don't want the van to just be sitting in the shop waiting for parts instead of, you know, being worked on. I don't want it to just sit in the shop longer than it has to. Wow, I am really red, y'all. It's not going to stay this way and pill and stuff whenever I burn, unless I burn really, really, really bad. As long as that doesn't happen, it usually will just turn tan. So, but anyway, Anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know about that. Also, Liam's car seat, which I don't know if you can see it right now, it's got the back on it. I wanted to let you guys know. So, one of the guys that works at the body shop that we are taking the van to, he used to be a police officer, and he was telling me that the reason why you want to replace the car seats is because the straps, is that right? The straps, like from the impact, they could kind of like be messed up or something like that. I don't know about the belt, you know, where it hooks into like the anchors and stuff in your seat. I don't know about that part, but I know for sure the straps that go like right here can be messed up from the wreck. So that's why he said if your child was not in the car seat, then it should be fine because if there's no child in there, then it that doesn't happen with the impact on the straps. I don't know. But on top of that, Liam's seat back here, I did just recently put the back back on it. It's a booster seat where it can be a high back booster or it can just be just the booster seat. So whenever the accident happened, we only had just the booster seat in there and it wasn't like anchored in nothing. It was literally just the seat part just sitting in there. The back wasn't in there, nothing. So there was nothing that it could have impacted. I mean, I guess if we had had a way worse wreck, maybe it could have gotten like slung around and damaged or something, but it was literally just still sitting in the seat. There's no straps involved. So that's why we don't have to replace his car seat. And I did put the back back on it, even though he's old enough to not have it. I did put that on there because now I'm just, I don't know, it makes me nervous because he's in the very, very back and I don't know. We had taken it off because when I first got the van and put him way back there, it's very difficult for me to get back there and we were having him buckle himself in. And for some reason he was having trouble buckling himself in with the back on there because you have to like feed the seatbelt through this thing and I don't know. It, for some reason he was having trouble, but he's been buckling himself in for a while now. So he's gotten used to it. So he's, he's good at it now. He's fine. So the back's going to stay on there. That was very long winded, but I just wanted to update you guys on that. I'm going to keep y'all in the loop, obviously on everything that's going on. I'm going to call the body shop tomorrow and see what he found out about the parts. And I will let you guys know. I just didn't want to like harass him. I wanted to give him like a whole, like over 24 hours, just give him some time to find out about the parts because they have been wonderful. The body shop has been great. It's been insurance that has just been telling us different things. Every time we talk to a different person, they say different things and it's just a hot mess, but it's okay. We're, we're, we're positive today. I'm done venting for now, unless other things happen. But anyways, I'm, I'm going to go inside. I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm so tired. The sun has drained me and I didn't even pick up dinner. I didn't have it in me. I was just like, I just want to get home. I just want to get home. So we're probably just going to make like spaghetti or what else do we even have? Sloppy Joe or something. We have been buying groceries on the cheap, cheap lately. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.